Friday morning, green across the board, up over 100 for the Dow, 28,000, way above that level. And look who's here, market watcher David Barnson. All right, David, welcome back to the show. Good to see you, sir. Uh, is President Trump's speech good for the markets? Well, I think that the messages are very much in line with what the markets want to hear. But what the markets ultimately are going to respond to is where the leadership ends up being in Washington. And that has to do with the presidential race and it has to do with the outcome of the Senate. And one of the big reasons why I think the market did not sell off this summer when Joe Biden's lead in the polls started going higher is that the Senate is still a big question mark. Markets ultimately don't have to worry about a Biden presidency to the same degree agree if the Republicans hold the Senate. It's if, because then, you know, Stuart, all these crazy things about Green New Deal, yep. big, huge tax increases, those things will not happen if the Republicans hold the Senate. So I think that the president hit a lot of good notes in the speech last night. The markets want a law and order message, but they want an economic growth message. Yep. Oh, th there's so many that, question marks in the months ahead. But, but that was it, wasn't it? The, the, the market wants a growth message. And they got it last night, depending on the election results, we're going to get tax cuts from the president. I think that's what the market really likes here. Yeah, and I, I think the market likes the idea of the corporate tax cuts that we already got not having to go away. And then, of course, if there are going to be further tax cuts, particularly to the middle class, that's stimulative. And, and also, I think it's a message that voters would like. But, you know, the, the thing that the president really has done in the first term that markets have liked that don't get enough attention are deregulatory efforts in financials, in energy. Um, if he gets a second term, I actually expect more on the deregulation front even than uh, the tax cuts. OK, it's been a terrific week. I'm glad you were here to close out the week there, David, because uh, I think we really have seen some financial history made this week. And I think we're going to see some more this morning.